This lesson is going to be about nothing but nets. I mean nets of solids though. These are pretty fun to work with and imagine if you like using your brain. It really wakes up the spatial intelligence of your mind. A typical question about this topic would be, what is a net of a solid? The only difference is really instead of saying solid, the question has a particular 3D shape. For example, what is the net of a cube? Or what is the net of a cone? And so on. What this question means is what is the 2D shape that can be folded or bent to make a particular 3D shape? We deal with so many different shaped solids in our daily lives. Every one of these shapes has something in common. They are all 3D or three dimensional. Another thing they all have in common is that these 3D shapes are all made up of 2D shapes that are either being folded or bent. The 2D shapes that make the 3D shapes are what's called nets. All right, so a great place to start for understanding nets of solids is a cube. So as you can see right here, I have a 3D model of a cube and I can kind of shade it here so you can kind of see the sides a little bit easier. Now, if I turn this into a net, what it's basically gonna do is unfold each of these each of these faces on this, this three-dimensional object at each edge, so it's just gonna unfold it, and you'll see what the two-dimensional or the net of this cube would look like. So it's gonna look something like this. So as you can, you can see, it makes this object like this, which is just consists of a bunch of 2D uh, shapes combined. And this is actually one of 11 possible nets of a cube. So hopefully this three-dimensional uh, model helps you understand it a little bit easier. Um, you can also go backwards from this. So if you ever like cut out a, a, a piece of paper that looks something like this shape, you should technically be able to um, put it together to form a three-dimensional cube and it would look something like this. So it's kind of something, to, a good way of learning nets is to, if you're not understanding them exactly, you can always just make them, make them physically out of paper and then kind of just put them together um, and you'll end up with something like this for a cube. So you might be thinking, who cares about nets of a solid? When is this ever needed? Well, it turns out the concepts behind nets of solids are used in simple things such as manufacturing boxes, ever popular in the age of online shopping, building cell phones, and designing how homes are built. More importantly, with the age of ever-growing technology, 3D printing and 3D animation all utilize concepts and mathematics of nets of solids. So that's a lesson on nets of solids. An important thing to uh, focus on when trying to understand these is to don't be afraid to get physical with it. Don't be afraid to um, create these these nets of solids using pieces of paper and folding them into 3D shapes. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.